When this massive sinkhole swallowed this Hudson home, no one was inside the house. But next door neighbor Dave Taylor watched the whole thing. This is something you don't usually see. <laughs> In fact, next door to me, that's only 10 feet away from my house. He saw the earth slowly devouring his neighbor's home. The roof started bending down and stuff just started falling and going down. Pasco County officials ordered Dave and his wife to evacuate their home for the night. The woman who lived alone in this home is staying at her sister's. Her home is condemned. Half of it is in the sinkhole, exposing three rooms as if the house was sliced in two. When I saw her in the patio back there talking in that house right there before they evacuated, she seemed like crying. She was crying. She's she cried. It was her house. She just walked in and saw it. And I just come over and I help. Just stayed stood there with her, and she sort of laid her head on my shoulder and cried a little bit. But she took it pretty good, considering her house has fallen through the ground. The sinkhole appears to be at least 25 feet deep and 50 feet wide. It was the talk of the neighborhood. Everyone fearing their home is also on unstable ground. That I live in the middle of two houses that are getting pumped right now, so you wonder if I'm going to be next. You know, <clears throat> so that just shows you right there what can happen. People living here in the Beacon Woods East subdivision say sinkholes have terrorized the area. Some speculating nearly half the homes have been hit in the past two years. That's I am very scared and I got a lot of crack in the house, inside the house. Oh, yeah. Despite the evacuation order, Dave Taylor isn't scared of the sinkhole. He had his house stabilized with concrete four years ago. I would sleep there when my wife doesn't want to. I was scared. I'm, when you're going to go, you got to go. <laughs>